Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's learn around the aggregate functions that we have seen in the pivot table. The pivot underscore table function has an aggregate function, but again, here you only see mean. Let me tell you, you can do lot many things with that. You can do mean, sum, count, mean, max, median, standard. So you can see there are a lot many things that you can do. Now let me show you how they can be utilized practically one by one. Now the very first thing we will do, we'll import pandas as pd. And then I'm going to use a very specific data frame to understand with all of this example. And I'm going to pass this in the description of this video. So let me copy this data frame and paste it and let me run this just to see how my data looks. Now you have to spend a few minutes to understand the data frame. Let's see the first column date. It has got 1, 2, 2nd of October, again 1st of October, 2nd of October, 3rd of October like that. So the data, data is not in the order. You can see that. And here if you see the product. On first A product was sold 10 quantities and on the first second time again it was sold 15 quantities. The B product there was no selling has been done on the 1st of October. 2nd of October it was sold 20 quantities. Okay and you can see in the second it has repeated twice but again on second you don't have any product sold in the category A right so this kind of a data is available then on the third a and we both got sold now this aggregate functions will help a lot in the pivot table so let us see that so here you have your data and let's use the pivot table so how do you use a pivot table simply say data frame and pivot underscore table right and within the parenthesis you have to pass the first parameter is known as the index parameter is equals to I want to keep my date as my row. So in the index you pass that column which you like to keep it as your row. And then the next important parameter is your columns parameter. Right. Columns parameter equals to and here I want product. Now these are all case sensitive when I am writing P capital you can see in my data frame it is capital. Now here the next important parameter is aggregate function. By default it uses mean. Even though you don't write it, it is going to show you the mean. Let us run it. So mean means what? Average. Mean means what? Average. So if you see it has given me on first the average is 12.5. That means if you see on first A was sold 10 times here and here in the second index a was sold 15 times. So 10 plus 15 divided by 2 is 12.5. It's showing the average. Okay. Same thing for the B if you see. Uh, B was sold 2 times in the 2nd of October. Right. So here I have 20. And here it is 25. So 20 plus 25 is 45 divided by 2 which is 22.5. So you have understood mean. Okay. Now let's see how to use sum. Now pretty simple. Just copy this. And I am going to change from mean to sum just to see the sum. Now let's run it. So what happened here 10 plus 15 25 right here 20 plus 25 45. So the same you know it is just adding a 10 a 15 so it is just giving the addition pretty simple okay. So we have got this sum. Now let's see the count what the count will do again copy paste and I am going to write count here okay count and let us run and see so that means it is saying on 1st of october a was sold two two transactions happened where first transaction we had 10 so it is giving just the count okay this is the count how many times the occurrence has happened so you have understood count now let's see min now for min i am going to say min so it is going to say now on 1st of october if you re recall the a was sold 10 times and the second instance it was sold 15 times on the first of, on the same day maybe in the morning and evening now it is going to show me the minimum 
that means 10 it should show me the a value is 10 on 1st of october the minimum sold was 10 20 for the b product right rest of it were the things were blank it is nan not a number so getting it min now let's see max max is just the opposite I'm using max and we run it and you can show it shows on first the maximum sold selling of that product a was 15 getting it okay now we have learned a lot of things now what we have learned again let's recall mean sum count minimum and maximum now let's see median median is what now sometimes if you have such questions what you can do is what you know you can just type it what is median on google so median if you see the median is the middle value in a set of data first organize and order data from smallest to largest and that is the middle value okay so that is for example if here i am saying median and run it so it is going to if there are multiple data frames that is where you will find but again here because there are two two values everywhere so it is giving that it, it appears like mean average but again an average will change if you have three or four values so it will change right so here is the median okay this is the definition uh, you can just google it there will be multiple sites which can explain you the same thing okay all right now let's see standard deviation and here i will just write the code for standard deviation and let me run this and you will get the standard deviation now anyone who has uh, you know wanted to understand what is a standard deviation you know just google it out otherwise i will try to create another video where we can talk in detail around the standard deviations okay the average amount of but this is not in the scope of this video so i'm just keeping it okay so you can just see it in the google uh, there are multiple websites or else i'll create another video now the next thing is where Now the var in panda stands for variation. Okay, for example, what is var in pandas? Okay, um, the var method calculates the standard deviation for each column by specifying the column axis. Uh, uh, or here you can see right variance. What is the variance of the data in pandas? You can calculate the variance of pandas data frame by using pd dot variance. This again not uh, scope of the this video to explain everything but again this is one of the uh, parameter that we can pass okay now first now this might be quite useful let's say i would like to see what are the first value if i'm going to run it you can see the tenth is the first value the same thing if i'd like to know the last i mean the first occurrence that's the meaning the last occurrence the last occurrence value is 15 okay so i feel some of this are very will be pretty useful at least you are aware as to as to what are different aggregate functions that we have with pandas pivot table so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic give it a like to this video and let's meet once again in our next content